when we think of what makes Britain, Britain, the Saxons often come to mind. This Germanic tribe, arriving in waves after the fall of Roman Britain, didn't just shape the language, culture, and governance of the island, they also left an indelible mark on the very DNA of its people. Today, a groundbreaking genetic study has peeled back the layers of time to reveal just how much the Saxons shaped British genetics. From their migration across the North Sea to their integration with native Britons, the Saxons played a crucial role in the development of modern Britain, not just in terms of society, but also in the genetic tapestry we see today. This isn't just a story of warriors and kingdoms, it's a story etched in the cells of millions of Britons alive today. What can our genes tell us about the Saxons' journey? How did their DNA mingle with that of the Celtic and Roman populations that came before them? And what surprises might this study reveal about Britain's genetic history? Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating story of the Saxons and uncover how their legacy lives on in the most intimate way, through the DNA of modern Britain. The Saxons were part of a larger group of Germanic tribes, including the Angles and Jutes, who hailed from northern Germany, Denmark, and the Low Countries. They weren't just raiders or invaders, they were settlers, people seeking a new life in the fertile lands of Britain as the Roman Empire crumbled in the 5th century CE. Their migration wasn't a single event, but rather a series of waves over several decades. Some came as mercenaries, initially hired by native Britons to defend against other invaders. But as Roman Britain weakened, the Saxons seized the opportunity to establish their own foothold, carving out new territories and kingdoms. By the 6th century, the Saxons had settled large parts of what we now know as England. Kingdoms like Wessex, Essex, and Sussex, names derived from West Saxons, East Saxons, and South Saxons, sprang up, laying the foundation for the Anglo-Saxon era. But who were the Saxons beyond their reputation as warriors? Recent archaeological discoveries reveal a rich culture. They brought their own languages, customs, and agricultural techniques, profoundly influencing the local way of life. And, as we'll see, they also brought their genes, which would leave a permanent mark on the British Isles. The Saxons were more than conquerors. They were settlers who established lasting communities, blending their traditions with those of the native Britons. And as they intermarried with local populations, they passed down their DNA, leaving clues for us to uncover centuries later. Before the Saxons arrived, Britain's genetic landscape was already a complex tapestry. Indigenous Britons, descended from Neolithic farmers and earlier hunter-gatherers, had been living on the island for thousands of years. These early inhabitants carried genetic markers from populations that migrated from Anatolia, the Mediterranean, and even the steppes of Eurasia. Then came the Celts, bringing their own cultural and genetic influence. By the Iron Age, Celtic tribes dominated much of Britain, and their genetic signatures are still evident in modern populations, especially in Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. The Roman occupation, beginning in 43 CE, introduced another layer of diversity. Roman Britain wasn't just populated by Italians, it was a melting pot of peoples from across the empire, including North Africa, the Middle East, and continental Europe. This influx left subtle but detectable traces in the DNA of Britons, particularly in urban areas like London and Bath. By the time the Saxons arrived, Britain was already a genetic mosaic, with significant regional variation. The West and North retained strong Celtic genetic markers, while the Southeast had a more Romanized population. The Saxon migration added a new layer to this complexity. What's remarkable is that the Saxons didn't completely erase the genetic legacy of those who came before them. Instead, they blended with the native populations, creating a hybrid genetic identity. Modern studies reveal that while areas like Wales and Scotland show minimal Saxon influence, England carries a strong genetic imprint of these Germanic settlers, particularly in the East. The pre-Saxon genetic landscape sets the stage for understanding the profound impact of their arrival, a story of integration, resilience, and transformation. The Saxons left a lasting genetic mark on Britain, one that we can now trace with remarkable precision thanks to advances in genetic research. Studies have shown that the Saxons carried specific genetic markers that were distinct from the native British populations they encountered. 
These markers have survived in the gene pool of modern Britons, serving as a genetic fingerprint of their arrival and integration. One key genetic contribution from the Saxons is the Y-chromosome haplogroup or 1B. This genetic lineage is common among modern British males and is also prevalent among populations in Germany and Denmark from where the Saxons originated. The presence of this haplogroup in Britain today is evidence of male Saxon settlers intermarrying with local women, thus passing down their genetic material to subsequent generations. It's a clear marker of their legacy, linking modern Britons to their Germanic ancestors. Beyond Y-chromosome markers, Saxon DNA also introduced new mitochondrial DNA lineages. Mitochondrial DNA is passed from mother to child, making it a tool for tracing maternal ancestry. The presence of certain mitochondrial DNA haplotypes among modern Britons suggests that Saxon women contributed significantly to the gene pool, blending their genetics with those of the local Celtic population. These genetic findings challenge the simplistic view of the Saxons as invaders who displaced indigenous peoples. Instead, the evidence shows a complex pattern of migration and assimilation, where Saxons and Britons intermarried and merged their cultures over generations. The Saxon genetic legacy is not just a trace, it's a vibrant part of the British genetic story, still visible today. The Saxon arrival wasn't just a demographic shift, it was a cultural and genetic fusion that transformed Britain. As the Saxons settled in the fertile lands of England, they brought with them not only their genes, but also their language, customs, and lifestyle. This fusion created a new cultural landscape, blending Saxon, Celtic, and Roman influences into something uniquely British. Culturally, the Saxons established their own kingdoms and laws, integrated local Celtic traditions with their own, and developed a system of governance that laid the groundwork for medieval England. They introduced the dooms or laws that governed Anglo-Saxon society, which are the ancestors of modern English legal principles. These laws show the Saxons' ability to adapt to new environments while retaining elements of their original culture. Genetically, this fusion was just as significant. The Saxons didn't displace the native British population, but rather absorbed and integrated with them. Intermarriage was common, particularly among the ruling classes, which facilitated the spread of Saxon genes throughout the population. The process wasn't one-sided. Local Britons also assimilated Saxon culture, language, and genetics, creating a hybrid identity. Recent studies show that this genetic fusion left a lasting legacy. In areas where Saxons settled in large numbers, such as the east and southeast of England, Saxon DNA markers are still prevalent. These regions show higher frequencies of certain genetic haplogroups, such as R1b, that are associated with Saxon ancestry. Moreover, the blending of Saxon and native genetics can be seen in modern traits like lactose tolerance, which is linked to northern European ancestry and differences in disease susceptibility. These are not just cultural imprints, they are direct reflections of the genetic mixing that took place during the Saxon settlement. The genetic impact of the Saxons varied significantly across Britain, reflecting the complex patterns of settlement and integration. While the Saxons established strongholds in the east and southeast of England, their influence was less pronounced in other regions like Wales, Scotland, and the West Country. In regions where Saxon influence was strong, such as East Anglia, Kent, and Wessex, modern Britons exhibit a clear genetic signature of Saxon ancestry. These areas show higher frequencies of the R1b haplogroup, indicating that Saxon men were more likely to have children with local women. The Saxon migration wasn't just about military conquest, it was also about settlers establishing new communities, where genetic mixing occurred naturally over generations. In contrast, areas like Wales and Scotland show less Saxon genetic influence. The Celtic populations in these regions retained their distinct genetic signatures, often characterized by haplogroups like R1 and R1a. These regions were less affected by Saxon migration and more by the subsequent Norse invasions and Viking settlement. The distinct genetic profiles in these areas tell a story of resilience and continuity, where local Celtic identity persisted even as the Saxons expanded their influence elsewhere. The West Country, another area with less Saxon genetic impact, offers an interesting case. This region was never fully Romanized and remained on the fringes of Saxon expansion. 
The genetic landscape here reflects a mixture of Celtic and Roman ancestry, with only limited Saxon genes introduced through intermarriage. It's a reminder that the Saxons didn't conquer all of Britain equally. Some regions were more resistant to cultural and genetic change. By studying these regional variations, we gain a better understanding of how migration and settlement patterns shaped the British gene pool. It's a reminder that genetics is not just about ancestry, it's also about adaptation and the survival of genetic traits across different environments. Recent genetic studies have revealed some unexpected findings about the Saxons' influence on the British gene pool. One of the most surprising is the genetic link between the Saxons and populations in Northern Europe, particularly Scandinavia. This connection suggests that the Saxons were not just migrants from what is now Germany and Denmark, but also had ties to broader European networks. The presence of Scandinavian genetic markers in British populations is particularly evident in the north of England. This finding is likely the result of interaction between the Saxons and the Vikings, who arrived in Britain centuries after the Saxon migration. This interaction would have involved intermarriage, trade, and cultural exchange, leading to a shared genetic legacy. Moreover, genetic studies show that the Saxons had a surprising impact on the development of modern health traits. For example, certain genetic variants associated with higher cholesterol levels, obesity, and heart disease are more common in populations with strong Saxon ancestry. This suggests that the genetic legacy of the Saxons influenced not just the way Britain developed culturally and politically, but also the genetic susceptibility to modern diseases. Another unexpected discovery is the genetic continuity between the Saxons and other Germanic populations in Europe. The study revealed that modern Britons with Saxon ancestry shared genetic similarities with people from modern-day Germany and Denmark. This connection provides evidence of long-lasting genetic exchange between the British Isles and continental Europe, emphasizing the Saxons as a bridge between these regions. These discoveries challenge the traditional view of the Saxons as invaders who replaced the indigenous British population. Instead, they highlight a complex process of migration, settlement, and genetic blending, where the Saxons assimilated into the existing population, leaving behind a legacy that persists to this day. The Saxons' impact on British genetics is not just a historical footnote, it's a living legacy that continues to influence modern Britain. Today, around 30% of the British population carries genetic markers associated with Saxon ancestry. This makes the Saxons one of the largest non-indigenous genetic influences on the British Isles, second only to the Norman invasion. The Saxon legacy is evident not only in our DNA, but also in aspects of modern British culture. For instance, the use of surnames ending in son, like Harrison or Davidson, can be traced back to the Saxons, who used son to indicate descendants. The spread of these surnames across Britain reflects the Saxons' integration into British society and the adoption of their naming conventions. In modern Britain, the study of Saxon genetics provides new insights into identity and heritage. It allows us to understand how our genetic makeup reflects the movement of peoples across centuries and continents. This study isn't just about the past. It's about how we understand ourselves today, who we are, where we come from, and how we relate to the broader world. The Saxons shaped not only the physical landscape of Britain, but also its genetic landscape. Their legacy is a reminder of how migration and cultural exchange shape societies. As we look to the future, understanding the Saxon influence helps us appreciate the complexity of human history, where genetics tells a story of connections, fusions, and the ongoing narrative of our shared ancestry. As we continue to explore the genetic story of the British Isles, new discoveries will inevitably reshape our understanding of the past. The Saxons may no longer rule the land, but their DNA is very much a part of it, evidence of a chapter in history that shaped not just a nation, but a people. So, what have we learned about how the Saxons shaped British genetics? From their migration across the North Sea to their blending with indigenous populations, the Saxons left a lasting imprint on the genetic fabric of the British Isles. Their legacy is a story of integration and assimilation, not replacement, a story written in the DNA of millions of modern Britons. 
This genetic study isn't just about tracing ancestry, it's about understanding the complexities of human migration and the lasting impacts of cultural exchange. The Saxons were more than invaders, they were settlers, merging their genes with those of the indigenous people to create a new genetic identity. We hope you found this exploration of British genetics enlightening. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more deep dives into the genetic histories that shape our world. What surprised you most about the Saxons' impact on British genetics? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see.